Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel today we will discuss LED driver circuit it is a question from my viewer please make a detailed video on LED driver circuit let's open it if you don't have good practical experience in power electronics never try to repair because it have unisolated live and high voltage LIS9412 Here I downloaded LIS9412 data sheet. It is in Chinese language. It is non isolated LED driver circuit buck regulator. If we see its specifications and features, it works in CCM and it says it is using feed forward topology. It has temperature protection, temperature hysteresis and then it is very simple design then it don't need any input capacitor or output capacitor soft start at high voltage and it have built-in power supply this chip and it uses LEB leading edge blinking it have built-in compensation function then different features are here here in description it says LIS9412 is used to provide constant current operation so it is step down converter so because it is not using uh, many more components capacitors so its efficiency can be obtained up to 95 percent when we use LIS uh, 9412 it does not change inductor current too much so it feeds the voltage to LED so LED receives constant current let's see how this circuit is working First we will see this point CCM. We have positive supply here. LED, second LED, number of LEDs. It is series connections. Then this switching device MOSFET, I will draw the symbol of transistor to understand easily then it have resistor this is negative end this is the simplified circuit of this LED driver we have bridge rectifier here if we correlate with this circuit one line is directly reaching to the bridge rectifier and in the second side we have 10 ohm fusible resistor that is reaching to bridge rectifier second side you can say if i will add a resistor here 10 ohm fusible resistor line voltage are applied to bridge rectifier then it will rectify and voltage will reach at this capacitor that is here this capacitor positive negative negative terminal is reaching at this point that is pin number 7 pin number 5 pin number 6 are drain pins pin number 1 it is HV pin high voltage pin we can see direct voltage are reaching to this pin Pin 2 not connected VDDG pin. This pin is used to drive this IC for input or output. So this time in this configuration it is not using pin number 3. Pin number 4 is current sense. 7 number pin is used to provide chip ground to this IC. When it will receive HV voltage high voltage that is pin number 1 and ground at pin number 
7 at that time it's this circuit it is power generator power regulator so power generator will create VDD voltage supply voltage for this internal chip these VDD voltage will reach to this reference circuit this reference voltage will reach to this current sense modulator circuit and here we have PWM generator here PWM driver and what is CCM in initial stage here it will provide drive pulse that is at gate when gate will receive pulse here at this point what will happen the current oh sorry here is inductor when it will drive this circuit current will pass through this MOSFET inductor and LEDs when current will flow from this inductor magnetic field will start to build up in this core so it will provide XL inductive reactance so at that time its XL will equal to R resistance we can say it will provide resistance in the circuit when the current is flowing V is equal to I into R we provided 300 volt DC that is from the capacitor at these two points current will flow in this circuit when the current will reach its required at its required level for example we need 30 milli ampere it is example if we have this resistance 3 ohms 3 into 30 V is equal to I into R 90 millivolt it is just only for understanding our LED is running at 30 milli ampere when this current will reach at 30 milli ampere we can say this is peak current it will depend on the size of LED the power rating of LED and configuration either it is in series either it is in series parallel so this current will cause to drop voltage across this resistor this voltage will reach to CS pin current sense pin that is here so this modulator will modulate the signal that the current is now reached at this point immediately it will turn off gate drive when it will turn off gate drive the current will decrease why because now the MOSFET is opened when it will open same time the voltage here will drop again because the current is now decreased when it is decreased this switch will provide a pulse that is called leading edge blanking at that time it will provide TLEB 600 nanosecond time typical when the maximum current level will achieved after that it will provide 600 nanosecond time for next pulse we can say it will provide a switching gap so it will allow to release the magnetic field that is stored in this choke in this inductor so this collapsing magnetic field will start to decrease but in the meantime in this 600 nanoseconds the core is not fully demagnetized still it have voltage 
and this circuit will generate an other pulse so this pulse driver this PWM driver will drive the gate again and it will switch again when it will switch again the next pulse will arrive here when next pulse will arrive here it will start switching again this slope it is showing that the core is not demagnetized at its minimum level at zero level the core still have magnetic field still have stored energy but during discharging time through this rectifier that is here it will switch again that is called CCM continuous conduction mod in DCM discontinuous conduction mod the core is allowed to demagnetized at minimum level the magnetic field which was stored it will collapse and it will be discharged through this diode but now it was discharging its sense circuit is active and it will sense the voltage that are dropped across this resistor when it will reach again at this level it will turn off this gate again the current will start to decrease after 600 nanosecond it will turn on again when it will turn on again current will start to build up again when the current will reach again at maximum level so it will monitor the peak current that is causing to drop voltage here it will detect the peak level at that time it will turn off this gate drive energy will release through this diode so LEDs will receive voltage like this so minimum variation will there on the LEDs why because it is providing a very little switching gap between one pulse to second pulse it will maintain the current by means of T of VST on minimum T on that is one microsecond there are different technologies different topologies of the LED drivers some of them are PWM based some of them are modulator based some of them change frequency to maintain the current this one it is switching at 150 kilohertz and frequency deviation may be plus minus three percent so the nominal frequency is 150 kilohertz here is MOSFET 550 volt MOSFET RDS on is 12.5 ohms when its MOSFET will turn on its internal resistance will 12.5 ohms here and maximum current ID it can reach up to 1 ampere then there is TR rise time 50 nanosecond and fall time 70 nanoseconds so this technique is used to regulate the current when the current will reach at maximum level it will cause to drop voltage the voltage will cause to trigger this circuit this trigger will provide 600 nanosecond delay in PWM generator after that it will drive the gate and MOSFET will switch again let's see this circuit practically this line is connected directly to the bridge rectifier and this line is connected to this 10 ohm resistor that is coming to this point then we have these two output points this is negative terminal that is connected to capacitor negative terminal positive terminal is reaching directly at output end it is connected to LED anodes negative side this pin is reaching at pin number 7 as a chip ground and it have two resistors here RS1 RS2 these are current sense resistors connected in parallel 
it is reaching to pin number 4 then it have pin number 1 pin number 1 is connected directly to high voltage section to provide chip biasing voltage for this IC these two are drain pins these are connected to this choke this is inductor it have two pins this one and this one current will pass from here to this side and it is reaching at output terminal meanwhile there is a diode here that is connected between drain pin and the supply pin positive side so it is to demagnetize the core this is the most simplest circuit in upcoming videos we will discuss other circuits like this and other circuits if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh